and look at his glory. The lover is full. When you look at him, when you lock eyes with him, worship becomes natural. Just open the eyes of your heart and look at him. Do you know that one minute in his presence is more than a thousand years on the earth? So just begin to press in right now. With your language, there is a specific language that you have between you and the Lord. Now just press in right now as the music plays. Come on. Come on, raise your voice all over this room. Come on. Raise it up.
I say.
when you look at him, when you lock eyes with him, worship becomes natural. Just open the eyes of your heart and look at him. Do you know that one minute in his presence is more than a thousand years on the earth? So just begin to press in right now with your language. There is a specific language that you have between you and the Lord. Now just press in right now as the music plays. Come on. Come on, raise your voice all over this room. Come on. Raise it up. Amen, amen. Good morning. God strengthens you in the name of Jesus. God, God strengthens all that concerns you in the name of Jesus. God strengthens all that concerns you. Um, before we begin to praise God and worship God, let me quickly help somebody bring interpretation to um, your recent experience that... Um, I believe we help you. Now, God brought this to my spirit this morning um, while I was praying ahead of the PPC. Um, so let, let me tell you something. There's something about um, the way the spirit realm works and um, making progress. All right? It is very possible that as you begin to make certain meaningful progress in the spirit realm, that you become visible to... Um, to op oppose opposing forces. It is also very possible in that season um, that many people can begin to see negative dreams about you. That means that you have entered into a new zone of confrontation. The negative dream people see about you, and somebody said, I had a dream that you died. Somebody said, I had a dream that, and you are wondering why so much consistency no, it is because you have entered into a season and a zone and a level of influence that that is exactly what the devil wants for you. The moment you step into fear, you begin to, through fear, subject yourself to the bondage of, um, through fear of death, subject yourself to bondage. That means that you are by yourself signing off a deal. Fear is the way to agree what the devil is bringing. Is that okay now? So as you step into certain zones, as you step into certain pedestals, as you step into certain seasons and new ranking of authority, you will begin to see confrontation. Those dreams and visions should not bring into depression. No. It is the devil raising his ugly head that this is what I intend to you. But the Bible says that this is the victory that overcomes the world, even so our faith. When you get into such height, what will be checked? is your convictions as a believer. That is what is going to be checked. What are the convictions? You see, you can be around it with noise, but at the same time, you don't even know the love of God and have personal conviction about His plan for your life. It will be checked. And you have to go back to the drawing board. Have I ministered to the person? Because there is that person here. All right. Let's go ahead and bless the name of the Lord this morning and honor his holy name. Come on, go ahead. Bless his holy name. The one who lives forever and ever. The Lord strong and mighty. Let's honor him. Oh, blessed be your holy name. Oh, sendero go sendero go sente. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We give you praise. We give you all honor and all glory. We thank you. Because there's none like you. 
We thank you because there is none besides you. Oh, we give you all the praise. Mm. We give you all the honor. Blessed, blessed be your holy name. There is none like you, Lord. Oh, I bless your holy name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The Lord dwells in his holy temple. Let the whole earth bow before him. Oh, we give you all the praise. A strain fills his house. Let the highlands be, be silent before him. We bless you, Lord. We thank you, the Lord strong and mighty, the one who fights our battles. We give you all the praise. Blessed be your holy name, Jesus. There's none like you, Lord. There's none to be compared to you. There's none to be compared to you. Um, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. I, I perceive that the Lord will have me um, take a moment and show you how to deal with assault from the pit of hell. Are you with me? And how to live a consistently victorious life. Now understand this. Paul said to the Corinthians in 2 Corinthians chapter number 10 from verse 3 says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. He went on to say, For the weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. For the pulling down strongholds, casting their imagination, all right, bringing um, into subjection every thought to the obedience of Christ. Now look at this. That means that literally, all right, as Christians, we are in a warfare. As practical as it can get. So it is no news that arrows are flying. No. It is no news that bullets are flying. No. Practically. That is where we are. So Paul speaking to the Ephesians. Said in Ephesians 6. He said, um, uh, we beseech us that we put on the whole armor of God. You see that? He said that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. So, I'm trying to show you something. What I'm trying to show you, I'm not saying despise words of warnings, but I'm trying to show you that they tell you that an arrow is flying should not be a news for the one who is in the midst of warfare. So, look at what David said in Psalms chapter number 18. Psalms 18, I'm going to, Psalms 18 is a very rich scripture when it comes to warfare. Very rich scripture. You want to pay attention to it. Look at what David said. All right. He said in Psalms 18, chapter number, verse number 2. He said, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Are you following what I'm saying here? Meaning that when you call upon the Lord, he answers. Look at verse 4. He says, the pangs of death surrounds me. The flood of ungodliness made me afraid. The sorrows of Sheol, that is the grave, surrounds me. The snare. Snare of death is when you come to a season that you know the devil has dug trenches that is easy to fall into. He said, the snare of death, all right, confronted me. Then he said, in my distress, I called upon the Lord. And my cry, all right, and, my, and cried out to my God. He heard my voice from his temple and my cry came before him. Then the head shook and trembled. Are you seeing that now? Then the head shook and trembled. The foundations of the hills also quaked and were shaken. Smoke went up from his nostrils and devouring fire from his mouth. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down with darkness under his feet. He rode upon the cherub and flew. He flew upon the wings of the wind. Now you can go on and on. Look at verse 14 says. He sent his arrows and scattered the foe. Lightnings in abundance. And he vanquished them. Very powerful. And what does this imply? It means God always responds when we call him. Are you following what I'm saying here? So that you entered into a season where there's so much confrontation. You must get used to it as believers. Except you are not doing anything powerful enough to be confronted. Are you following what I'm saying here? So you don't go about and start saying, ah, I'm afraid though. Somebody said this, somebody said that. Ah, no, no, no. 
I want you to get up on your feet, everyone. In the next two, three minutes, this is the prayer. I shut down every hostility against my soul. I shut down every hostility against my life. Every snare, every arrow from the pit of hell against my life to bring me down. I stand in, on the authority that is in the name of Jesus Christ and I command now, they are brought down to nothing. I see arrows falling. Go ahead, lift your voice and pray. I shut down every hostility against my soul. Yes. They come to nothing. They come to nothing. They come to nothing. No, no, no. They come to nothing. They come to nothing. Rege shende rogo shente rogo shente. Oh, reke sende rogo shente rogo shente. Rende rogo shente rogo shente. They come to nothing. Nothing. Their wiles will not stand. Neither will it come to pass. It will not stand. Neither will it come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Reke sende rogo shente. Rene Kopai, Kafrin de Rogoshente. Rende Rogo Siklente Rogoshente. Rente Rogo Sekete Rogoshente. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Reke Sende Rogoshente. Reke Sende Rogoshente. Rende Rogo Sende Rogoshente. Segene Rogoshente Rogoshente. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. In Jesus' mighty name, we're praying. Please pay attention. I want to show you something David said. What I'm trying to do with you this morning is for you to realize that certain things are not special, in all honesty. They are not special. Oh, the devil is trying to bring you down. In all honesty, it is not special. Oh, the devil is intending this against you. In all honesty, it is not special. That is his default setting. That is his default thinking. Okay? So, you don't get to that point where you are now saying, uh, I'm afraid. I don't know what's going on. Maybe as I'm even progressing now, things are changing. This, this, this. Uh, no, no. It's not special. It's not special. You are either a man of war or a civilian. Do I have soldiers here? Yes, sir. I said, do I have soldiers here? Yes, sir. You are either a man of war or a what? Civilian. They will be shooting gun like this. Shooting gun. Soldiers will be running towards it. They are shooting gun like this. Soldiers will be running towards it. I remember one time I was going to fly. And a woman, ah, this person just started crying. That she saw a vision that the plane crashed. And came down. Imagine that you are inside that kind of play. Huh? Somebody go start crying now. That I just saw something. I'm not going again. I'm not going again. I'm not going again. Put me down. Put me down. And you are inside that play. Of course, people came down. What do you mean? Nigerians. They blame government. They don't want to die. In the same economy. I'm telling you. I don't want to do again. I'm telling you. I sat down and I slept throughout that flight. I slept. Was there turbulence? Yes. I was not afraid. How would I be afraid? Huh? When I know what the world says, that thousands will fall by your right and tens of thousands by your left. No evil shall befall you. Not may befall you. Shall befall you. I hold on to the world with my last breath. No evil shall befall you. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Fear is what gives the devil legal rights. Fear. 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 Get used to the art of war. Get used to warfare. Get used to what? Warfare. I want to show you a scripture. Psalms 18. Oh, thank you, Lord. Psalms 18. Are you there? Psalms chapter number 18. Let's start reading from verse 32. 
Psalms 18 from verse 32. Psalms 18 from verse 32. Psalms 18 from verse 32. Psalms 18 from verse 32. If you are there, say amen. Now look at it. Look at it on your screen. It says, it is God that greeted me with strength and make my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hind feet and set me upon my high places. Verse 34 now. Powerful scripture. Look at what it says in verse 34. Oh, thank you, Lord. Ah. You know, I told you something yesterday. That you either go big or go home. He teacheth my hands to war. Come on, say it again. Say it again, say it again, say it again. So that the bow of steel is broken by my hands. Say it again, it teacheth my hands to war. So that the bow of steel is broken by my hands. Blessed be the God of David. Stitching my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Blessed be the God of David. Is teaching my hands to war, and my fingers will fight. My hands will war, my fingers will fight. My hands will war, my fingers will fight. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Now, listen, it is no news. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Are you with me? Yes, sir. It is no news. news. Stand as men of war, everyone. There's something <clears throat> called in battle such as to neutralize assault. To neutralize what? Assault. To neutralize. I want us to do this with a sound of worship from that, um, what's his name? Moses Ako, sorry. There's that sound, the one I had two days ago. Let's, let's raise, I want us to raise that sound. We're going to raise that sound of worship. Everyone who has been here, who has been living in fear, oh, this, this is happening, as you are climbing high, the devil is likely going to strike you down, as God keep lifting you, the devil is after you now, um, people want to bring you down, as God is raising you up, this and that and that, you are going to fall, uh, this, this, that, the speed you are going through now, when people have this kind of speed, they die young, the, this, this, shut the nonsense! Yes, and stand your ground! God will not give you what he cannot defend. He will not lift you up only to pull you down. Unto him that is able to keep us from falling and present us spotless. The God we serve is not an irresponsible father. Stop it now. And don't let any devil arise your mind. Stop it at once. Don't let any devil arise. I want to cut. Now, when we pray prayers like neutralizing assault, we are not doing it like uh, just walking around and neutralize the assault. Stand as a man of war. The one whose end has been concluded before the beginning. And we fight from victory, yes, not for victory. Are you following what I'm saying here? Yes, sir. Are you following what I'm saying here? Yes, sir. Is the hand of the devil sealed? Yes, it is sealed. Yes, his hand is sealed. Yes, his hand is predetermined. Yes, sir. He was defeated years ago and he still defe remains yes. defeated. Nothing has changed. Yes, sir. Are you following what I'm saying here? Yes, sir. Nothing has changed. changed. We're going to erase that sound. I, I love Mozako. He's, he's a prophetic worshiper. We're going to erase that sound. While that sound is raised, I'm going to get off your screen. While that sound is raised, you only have one activity. I neutralize. Uh, now, listen to what I'm saying. Some of you already know what the assault is. Because he's been consistently confronting your mind with it. Consistently. Do you know you can have cancer? Do you know you can die during childbirth? Do you know you can have diabetes? Do you know you can have liver issue? Do you know your kidney can fail? Do you know this and that? Do you know asthma can kill you? Shut the nonsense! Shut it down! Never let it get root! Shut it in its cracks! Shut it down! Never give the devil a foothold. In the next three minutes, they raise that sound. Everyone, wherever you are, begin to neutralize the assault. Go ahead right now. Go ahead. Media, raise that sound. Raise the sound. Shut it down now. Raise the sound. Raise the sound. Raise the sound. 
Oh yes. Now all eyes closed, keep your eyes on him and just just love him. Just worship in that silence a little bit. Shut up! 
Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you because you are the God who answers prayers. Thank you because you are the God who answers prayers. Thank you because you are the God who answers prayers. Thank you because you are the God who answers prayers. We have not gathered in vain. We are not praising or praying to a dead God. Thank you because you are the God who answers prayers. In Jesus' mighty name. Let me call your attention to something. And I believe this is going to rescue people. Thousands of people from the game the devil play. Um, the devil likes to play with your greatest fears. Okay, let me explain. Maybe somebody, somebody, maybe let's say um, there is a pattern in the family and let's say it's the pattern of poverty. As you, maybe you are in the season where you are quite broke or things are down, the devil likes to, he likes to now inform you that you're already a part of that pattern though. Let's say there's a pattern of maybe things not being done on time. And you are in a phase where certain things are happening that looks like it. The devil would not like to come and tell you that. That is it, though. You too, you have entered. The moment you conclude in your heart that that is it, it becomes it. Are you following what I'm saying here? Are you following what I'm saying? It becomes it, though. The moment you say to your heart that... That is it, it becomes it. So, make no room for the devil. And most times this happens because we don't know the faithfulness of God. We don't know his faithfulness. No devil, I'm insisting again, no devil can cut your life short. No devil can bring you down. What God has started in your life, no devil can stop it. I wish I can see you face to face now and tell you, do not be afraid. You will see, you will hear rumblings, you will hear war and rumors of war, you will hear shakings, everywhere scattering, but yet in the midst of it, the Lord shall be your stay. That's the Bible. You see things happening, rumbling, hey, fear everywhere. Sometimes you wonder, why is so, so much hostility against my soul? In the midst of it, the Lord shall be your, is the saving strength of his anointed. Yes, Let me tell you what happened. Woo! Imagine like there's a storm carrying building, and yet in the midst of that storm, there you are, in the midst of a lonely road, and his hand holds you like this. The Bible said, you know, it said underneath his arms are the everlasting hands. Are you seeing that now? You see everything scattering, shaking. This one is close to me. Look at what has killed this one. That one is happening. Look at what has happened. This one is sickness. This one is in the midst of it. It will hold you firm. Yes, sir. It's the one who backs us and we don't fall. It doesn't matter the storm. You see, you must know the faithfulness of God. Listen to what I'm saying. I am not telling you that because you have prayed this week, it will get easier. Nah. As you progress in life, you are going to meet new confrontations of new cadres of hostility. Yet, another wave of terror will seem to be coming against your soul. But you must know the one who is your stay in the midst of this. It's going to happen at every level. If you are at a level where the devil is not breathing threats against you, then you are, your life is meaningless. Then your life is meaningless. As long as you are the one who is... Moving against pattern. The one who is moving against the norm. The one who is moving against hostility. The one who is moving against all those things. Ah, the devil will come for you. And let me tell somebody here, I don't know who this is for. In the midst of all, now this is for somebody specifically. In the midst of all the accusations against your soul, do not be dismayed. In the midst of all the guilt creeping, in the midst of all the blackmails against your soul, do not, for once, be dismayed. You see, you must know how to be rugged on the inside. Are you for what I'm saying? You may look fragile. You may look like somebody who is weak, but on the inside, be tough. Are you following what I'm saying here? Now, I, I, I see 
I see people entering into prepared places. I didn't hear amen to that. Amen. Now, look at this. The moment you live a life of fear, that you are not ready for warfare, then you must be ready for delay. The Bible said God could not lead the Israelites through the way of the Philistines because they will see war and turn. So God is saying that, Thor, if I know your strength, that once you see war now, you start doubting everything. Uh, in my mercy, be slow, for my mercy endures forever. That's what it means. Are you following what I'm saying? Here? Because ah, you can't fly and not face confrontation. You can't. Do. Ah. You know the confrontation we are faced? And that's not even the peak of it. Are you following what I'm saying? I was hearing um, Pastor here at Deboe. All right, share a story. At the one time, one, one head of state, they already sent a letter that it was among those that should be executed. What will you do if I need shoes? Oh, God, you are the one who has come to you. Oh, you caught me. <laughs> I left you for a I see what is happening now. Ah, oh, no, John. <laughs> huh? You, you are the one who has come to me. Is that correct? He said, I went to go and meet my, my daddy. This man said, I'm about to be executed. Uh, my daddy, uh, I don't know what's wrong with the network. Oh, my, uh, this, this, this. And just a few moments after, the man who said he was going to execute somebody, they said he was dead. Yorubas have an adage. They always say, Mi ole wa jo ye mi le babay. That is, the one who says, I cannot come and go and die, should not be made the chief in his father's house. Yes, sir. Being made the chief in your father's house means that you are going to be stressed. If you are not ready for stress, don't do, don't do influence. In the, are you following what I'm saying? Yes, sir. <laughs> you are, God, what God told us, that is the commission behind this ministry, is go and raise end-time armies, not end-time civilians. End-time armies. End-time civilians will be casualties. Huh? When there's war, a civilian is not an asset. It's a liability. You have to protect the civilian with your life. True or not true? Yes, End time. Amen. Say loud and clear, I am audacious. I am audacious. Say it again, I am audacious. I am audacious. Now, if there's anything about following this ministry, that you cannot follow this ministry and be timid. Yes, we look gentle on the surface, very soft, loving, and all that, but we are rugged on the inside. Damn. Rugged. I want to minister somewhere years back. They said, full and years, men said, I must not step there. They will cut off my head. I preached three nights. Three solid nights. Three solid nights. Three solid nights. Three solid nights. 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 There. They've not born the devil. Praise God. Some of you are even afraid to say it, that they've not, they've not born the devil. Is the devil your father-in-law? Why can't you say it? Not born the devil. They've, eh? Say they've not born the devil. Not born the devil. Ah, do not say they've not born the devil. You go and say they've not born the devil. Now, once you're on bike, the devil is going to come. Which village are you from? Amen. I'm showing you something here this morning. And this morning prayer, it is very, very important. It is very, very. The higher you fly, the more the confrontation. You choose one. You fly or you walk. I remember I was on a flight. I can't remember where we were flying to. And the pilot just said, hey, just need my little turbulence, this, this, this. And what we call little turbulence was actually the plane losing altitude. And it was quite a serious one. And the Lord told me, he said, you either choose dealing with the turbulence and speed or be on ground and be slow. I said, I choose, I choose your speed. Because in the midst of all those things, the Lord is my stay. Oh, yes. It's the consciousness. The Lord is my stay. Are you following what I'm saying here? Yes, sir. Put your right hand on your head, everyone. Those who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, you place your right hand on your stomach. I 
I speak against every hostility against your soul. And I bring them to nothing. Amen. Every gathering, every assembly against the interest of God in your life, this morning I neutralize them. Amen. This morning I neutralize them. Amen. They come to nothing. Amen. They become as chaff before the wind. Amen. Now look at this. You are coming out victorious Amen. from that feelings in your body. Amen. You are coming out victorious Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, the devil can even begin to bring up a feeling hmm? or begin to help you interpret a feeling. Ah, that that thing, oh, that's it, oh, that's what you are feeling now. That's what you are feeling now, that's what you are feeling now. I shut down lies. Amen. I shut down accusation. Amen. I shut them down. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I shut them down. Amen. I shut them down. Amen. I shut them down. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. By the fingers of the Lord. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now hear this. Hear this. You must... Begin to speak at the level of your faith, not at the level of your circumstances. In this kingdom, sin is not believing. Believing is sin. What did I say? Sin is not believing. There's somebody here, you have had two episodes of armed robbery. And you have been afraid that the third one is on the way. Where is that person? You have had two experiences of armed robbery before. Two experiences of armed robbery. And so there's been a level of fear in that regard. All right? It will not stand, though. Amen. Neither will it come to pass. Amen. It will not stand. Amen. Neither will it come to pass. Amen. It will not stand. Amen. Neither will it come to pass. Amen. It will not stand. Amen. Neither will it come to pass. Amen. It will not stand. Amen. Neither will it come to pass. Amen. Now, anybody who knows our ministry knows I have made announcements, and even when it does, I don't even know the physical way for it to happen. But it has never fallen to the ground. It has never fallen to the ground. I am Oliver. No devil will rob you. Amen. No devil. No devil. Thank you, Jesus. Now, listen, I want to pronounce blessings on your head, particularly for a change of altitude. All right? But before I do that, if you are here and you are here to accept Jesus, make the decision now. Maybe somebody invited you to pray. And you said, I'll give my life to Christ. Too. Make the decision now. Don't postpone your salvation. Don't postpone your salvation. Say, what must I do? Believe in your heart that God sent Jesus to this world to die for your sins. Believe in your heart that he died, all right, and he rose on the third day for you to be justified. Confess that with your mouth. The Bible says when you do so, it is unto right salvation. And that's it. That's how to be saved. So say after me, Lord Jesus. I believe that you came to this world to die for my sins. I believe that you died for my sins. I also believe that you rose on the third day for my justification. Today, I confess you as my Lord and I accept this gift of eternal life in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have said that, profound. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited you made that decision this morning. And I can tell you there's so much joy in heaven right now. There's so much joy in heaven right now. There's so much joy in heaven right now. All right? Send a message to the number on the screen. Send a message to the number on the screen. All right? Um, that I gave my life to Christ. We will take you up. And the hand of God will be able to disciple you. God's hand keep you. 
All right, we can't wait to hear from you this morning. All right, Ola Sumbo, um, the Lord bless your birthday and it crowns your year with mercy. Now hear the word of the Lord. All the things you've not been able to get done thus far in this next oscillation, before this time next year, you will see them done by themselves and you'll be amazed. Amen. So the word for you is, it is the year of setting into place. Amen. That is the word of the Lord. We give you praise, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I'm so excited. Like I said to you, by the grace of God, very soon you'll be able to follow PPC prayers right on your cable TV. All right? This year alone, we've had hundreds of decisions of salvation. That, that, now, that's something, right? Yes, sir. That's something. We can't wait to be before millions of people where we can have thousands upon thousands and millions of decisions for Jesus Christ. If you notice, no day comes that we forget to call altar call. We are passionate about so. Many of you need to get ready as we move to cable network, all right? Because you will partner. Amen? Yeah, some of you are here, God has laid in your heart that as that season comes, you should be partners with us. Yes, get ready, okay? We're going to open the floor. And we're going to have a presentation shortly, I think by mo next week, Monday or Tuesday, for you to see what the modus operandi will be. So prepare yourself. As you go, let the hand of God rest upon you. Amen. Now hear this. The Lord raised you into a new pedestal of influence. Amen. You are not coming down. Amen. You fly with new altitude. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Grace! 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 Amen. You fly with new altitude. Amen. No devil will shut you down. He that the Lord has blessed cannot be cursed. Amen. You are irreversibly blessed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your soul is preserved. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Let the hand of the Lord keep you. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I can't wait to see you tomorrow, Friday. And that's the last day for this week. Have a beautiful, beautiful day ahead. Bye-bye. The Lord is not done with you yet. Come on, travel with the sound right now. Blessed be your All over this room, blessed. Blessed be your name. Yeah, that's right. Blessed be your name. Just whisper it. Don't look to the left, don't look to the right.